We're now on the north shore of Bantry Bay, a, a couple of kilometers west of the Kumhola River, and we're looking south across Bantry Bay, and there are a number of interesting features here. The long low feature in the middle of the bay is Widdy Island, which is um, a large area of very young uh, carboniferous rocks. As in the other bays, the youngest rocks are in the middle of the bays. And in this case, the youngest rocks in the middle of the bay here belong to the Nemurian, which is in the upper part of the Carboniferous, and are some of the youngest rocks in Southwest Island. The island is also interesting because the uh, strategic oil reserve for Ireland is located in a series of large tanks on the southern point of the island, and I think you can clearly see them in outline there. The, uh, as we come towards us here, the, we go lower and lower in the Carboniferous sequence, and then the hills that form the Bera Peninsula at my back uh, are again in the Devonian. So we have the normal downwarp in the middle of Bantry Bay here, but very young rocks of the Carboniferous um, preserved on the island in the centre. Now, can you turn it onto that thing over there? And then, here we can see across Bantry Bay to Sheep's Head um, in, in the distance with its core of uh, Devonian rocks. Um, but in the foreground here is a mound, a greenish um, grassed mound, which is a, a drumlin, which is a mound of glacial material which has, was deposited during the um, Ice Age. Um, Ireland, the southwest of Ireland, was not covered by a huge sheet of ice, but it had many uh, glaciers and, and moving uh, streams of ice which move debris around and uh, many of the cliffs around Bantry Bay have got a layer of uh, glacial debris, so-called glacial drift, on top of them. But in places it's mounded up as here in these drumlins. Mm -hmm. 